Today we're going to talk about not being able to swallow and sometimes coughing up foods and medications. So here we go. Um, so there are certain th certain times when unfortunately people cannot, including myself, uh, swallow foods. And for me, that is kind of a big problem because it also includes medications. And even with taking sips of water or swallowing, you know, liquids with those those more dry type of foods, unfortunately, when I try to eat them, they just get coughed back up. And sometimes even, I think I may have eaten the food and it is okay, it's going, you know, down into my stomach and I've taken lots of little bites, but if it really does not agree with me, it gets coughed up and it comes up in a clump. And sometimes that clump might be, you know, pretty substantial in size to the point where it literally chokes me and cuts off the air supply as it comes back up. So this is a really scary feeling and I'm sure that there are other people out there that know this feeling. Uh, it's kind of, I mean, I have been uh, choked by food before, way before the fibromyalgia. It's a whole other story. A kebab almost killed me in New York. Um, that was years ago, uh, but it's a really scary feeling to have your oxygen supply cut off and know it's not asthma, you know it's not regular breathing trouble, it's just food caught as it's coming back up and because you know it's not vomit, uh, unfortunately it doesn't have the same type of lubrication that vomit gives to get it all the way up and you have to kind of cough and cough and cough it out. Um, it's just uncomfortable and it's scary. So uh, with medications, um, I tend to have to take them more one at a time when I'm having more trouble with this. Um, however, sometimes I do uh, take multiple pills at a time, sometimes all of my pills at once, because it is a lot easier. Um, same issue with food. Uh, if you take the pills singly, then sometimes they do kind of come up all at once together. And well, that's pretty much all there is, I guess. Um, when it comes up, it kind of feels like you know, it's not just your breathing supply that's getting um, cut off, the cut off kind of feeling if it's, if it's a food mass or if it's medication. Um, a, it's disgusting because if there's people around, you don't ever want to see it. It's kind of equivalent to a cat coughing up a hairball and that's, that's not fun for anybody. Um, but your chest starts to really hurt. You feel like it's kind of about to explode. Um, and you start to kind of feel really, really warm everywhere because your body's working really hard to get it out. And you feel kind of like your throat is kind of just gives up and kind of collapses on top of the food or medication, whatever it is. Uh, I have particular trouble with rice, uh, any type of <coughs> <coughs> crumbly breads, um, sometimes regular toast, pasta, I have a real trouble with pasta. Um, yeah, those are, the, those are the major things for me. Uh, anyhow, so that's pretty much me talking about um, having trouble swallowing foods and coughing them back up like a cat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully if you also have trouble swallowing foods and have similar issues, maybe you found some common ground, please don't, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and hopefully 
We'll see you again next time. Have a great night. Bye.